in Pittsburgh, we hear a lot about numbers now. We hear a lot about folks who are coming back. We hear a lot about new jobs. We're hearing about median income going up. The question is, do the numbers tell a story about the power of the experience that people are having? If you look at that, it doesn't look like I was born and raised in a place that I can be proud of. Doing community is hard. It is hard. And <laughs> it is about making decisions and, cre and creating a position that's based in what you absolutely know to be true in support of the community that you have spent a good portion of your life supporting. We're trying to calibrate the laws, quote, laws of economics that are 238 years old now with the laws of the biosphere that are 3.8 billion years old and it's not working out real well for us. It's only after you've lost everything that you're free to do anything and you're able to reimagine cities, you reimagine neighborhoods. If you design and build correctly, you increase human health and productivity, teacher retention, test scores, while you reduce operating costs. What school board wouldn't like that? And the kids are learning that our, in, that our own individual well-being is intimately connected to our symbiotic relationships to all the other creatures and ecosystems that make up this biosphere. We all are in this together, and that is not a platitude or a cliche, it's, it's, a tru, it's a truism. The only way to understand our potential is to understand where we've come from so we can make decisions about where we want to go from here and what we want to do with who we are. If we understand how to work with a whole human being, we will understand how to work with the whole of life. We're at a point in time that's very important, and we're doing a lot of dreaming and inspiring, but eventually the idea is that we're seeding ideas in you that you take to action. What you all are doing, someone said, well, it's just a drop in the bucket. <laughs> and I said, yeah, but you know, if you want to fill the bucket, you got to start with a drop. Get out of your own way. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make this thing so complicated that you can't get from here to there. I think Pittsburgh is not perfect, but I think it can be much better. And I think it can be better with all of us working together. I got passion for my plans and I'm not afraid to show it. I'm Steve Ridge from Green Bronx Machine. I'm farming and you know it. Coming here to Pittsburgh, and hearing all that y'all are doing, you have no idea how much it restores my faith in building community, so thank you for that. <laughs>